Hi everyone, this video shows the testing of our device at the National Physical Laboratory in London under volume control ventilation mode and you can see on the screen that we're delivering a pretty repeatable volume of 400 millilitres per breath which is really good. We, we tested under different test conditions using using their test lung um, as as per the, the, the sort of test table in the in the MHRA, MHRA requirements. Um, so, so, so the way the test lung works is you vary the compliance and resistance of the test lung to try to replicate the lung conditions of somebody suffering with, with COVID. Um, so, so those two factors, one, one is compliance, um, which, is, which means the amount that the lungs can expand and contract. Um, so a higher compliance value means they can expand and contract more. A lower compliance value means they really struggle to expand and contract. Um, and the resistance value is how difficult or how easy it is for for that expansion and contraction to happen. Um, so, uh, as I was saying, our, our ventilator performs pretty well most of the time and delivered delivered a consistent uh, volume during the volume volume control ventilation mode. Um, however, when we went to the further extremes of the compliance and the resistance values. Um, it struggled uh, and it wasn't able to, to sort of perform as, as the test standard would show but that's not necessarily a bad thing um, and, uh, and I'll explain. So un under those um, sort of more extreme levels where the compliance is very low and the resistance is very high um, as per the numbers in the, in the table on the requirements document if, if there was a ventilator which would um, successfully run those those tests under those further extremes it would actually produce an unsafe pressure level in order to do that um, so they're asking for a uh, um, a volume of 500 milliliters of breath um, to be achieved with quite a low com lung compliance um, which means a very high pressure so to, to try and explain that in a really simple way uh, although still with an equation so sorry about that but um, the com compliance uh, is volume divided by pressure, um, so millilitres divided by um, di divided by centimetres of H two O. Um, so if we if we re rearrange that equation and try and work out what pressure you would need to um, to to uh, achieve a test using five hundred millilitres and a compliance of ten, re rearrange that equation. Um, so that's pressure. Uh, is equal to the volume divided by C for compliance. Um, so for us, in in this sort of extreme case on the test table, the volume was 500, 500 millilitres, and the compliance was a value of 10. Um, so divide divide one from the other. 500 divided by 10 is 50. So that's a value of 50 um, cm H2O. So 50 is a really high uh, pressure value. Um, also remember that we have to add on to that PEEP, uh, which in the highest instance in the table is, is a PEEP of 15. Um, so that means a, a total pressure of 65 centimetres of H2O. So, if, um, so just, to, just to kind of recap, if we wanted, if, if a device was to successfully meet that extreme test case, uh, it would have to deliver 500 millilitres of volume with a lung compliance of 10, which means it would have to use a pressure of 65 centimetres of H2O. Um, so based on the safe numbers that I've been given by the anaesthetists that we're working with, um, 45 centimetres of H2O is the upper safe limit. If you go much beyond that, you could risk barotrauma. Uh, and barotrauma is a, is, a, um, is a sort of damage to the lungs caused by overpressure. Um, so 65 is a really high value. Um, that's a really high value of pressure, and that could certainly cause, cause damage to the lungs. Um, it, it, it's, it's worth saying in, in the other test table, which is pressure control mode rather than volume control mode which which this is about there is also an uns, an unsafe uh, test state which results in a um, a volume of over over a liter uh, being deposited which is sort of over this this safe this safe limit as well 
Um, so, so the question then is, where does that where does that leave us? And we're we're trying to design a system to meet the MHRA requirements, but sort of one part of the of the requirements kind of suggests thirty five as a as a number that we shouldn't go over. But then, if you go down into the test table, in order to satisfy those those tests, you need to produce a, a pressure that's really high. Um, so I'm I, I'm sort of thinking around the lines of maybe maybe that test table wasn't um, wasn't as they intended. Um, so I, I I don't want to design a a system which is producing producing unsafe levels of pressure or volume. So I I think for me for now it's best if we stick to this for our for our ventilator design uh, to 45 being the maximum um, which our which our device can achieve um, and and uh, I, I guess I guess it's just just a case of sort of thinking maybe that test table needs needs sort of looking at um, any any questions please please put in the comments thanks